In one of my recent videos, I showed you these art journals. Now these are all completed, full up, and I need new ones. Now I had bought these from Reflections. They have a sturdy chipboard cover and chipboard pages, but it looks like Reflection doesn't make them anymore in this size. They have smaller ones. They also have some with chipboard covers, but paper pages, but I like to work on a sturdy substrate. So I will make my own. I bought a stack of chipboards as you see here. They're 12 by 12 inch. Now they're a little thinner than the ones in my old journal, but I think the pages will be strong enough to hold up to all my mixed media. Now I used my crocodile to punch three holes and add three jump rings. That way I can work loose leaf, which I really prefer. Now, aside from this rather big journal, I took half of the chipboard pages I got and cut them down a bit for a smaller journal. This one is about 8.5 by 11, which is near to a photocopy page. And today I will make covers for both of these journals. For the small one, I will use an old book cover. Now it's very, very sturdy. It has a nice fabric linen cover, so nice texture. And I will only use the front and back panel. It has a perfect size. I will cut away the spine, but I will do it in a way that I can retain the fabric so I can end up with nice, clean fabric uh, borders all around it. So I cut it in the middle, as you can see here, then folded over the fabric and glued it down. So now they are ready for the holes. Now for that, my crocodile wasn't strong enough. I had to go into the garage and use my drill. But now they have their holes and I can add some white gesso to get them ready for paint. Now from here on, my process is going to be very easy to follow. Like always, I will add all the mediums I'm using in the captions as well as anything you might need to know. And I hope you will enjoy the process and I will talk to you in just a wee bit. Thank you. 
So these were all the major steps I took to complete the journal cover and here it is one more time. I'm happy with the way the crackles came out. I love the design of this puzzle and the way it looks on here. The letters I think complemented. The back is more simple. I like the subdued colors but definitely my favorite color combination. I added a little pony beads to the jump ring so that the hinge doesn't get stuck to the inside of the book. Here is that pocket I put in because, well, I messed up the paper. And it might come in handy to keep images for future collages in. And just because I had more paper, I made a pocket in the back as well. So here is my first cover. Now there are a lot of pages in here. And should this get a bit too tight after I work on them. I can always take half of them out and make more covers and make a second journal. But for now, it's pretty perfect. I like that it's so nice and sturdy. Now for the second journal, this will be my show and tell for today. Now for the cover, I use some wallpaper. It's a velvety tapestry type. Here on the bottom, I used the word create printed on a piece of linen. It has a black edging, which also has some robin buff and an interesting focal point. And I have a bit of video for you on this. So I started with a frame which I gessoed black. I had this image of the lady and the piano player. I added a piece of mica. Now you can find mica in the craft store. It's a mineral and it comes in these irregular pieces. It's pretty sturdy so you can punch holes, you can uh, use it with scissors and it gives this kind of vintage glass look. Now because it's a mineral, it has different layers. Uh, you can leave it rather thick like I did or you can and peel it and use thinner pieces. So it's really fun to work with. Next, I added some gold rub and buff to the frame and of course I overdid it, but the wet wipe took off some of the gold and it looks pretty good when I was done rubbing it down. I sealed it with some Mod Podge. Then all I had to do is attach first the mica and I used these uh, paper clips? No wait, they're not paper clips. There is a different word for them. Oh, I can't think about it. If I do, I put it in the captions, but you see what they are. I secure them to the back and it gives uh, just a little bit of an industrial look and definitely a vintage, little bit broken look. I love the way the picture looks behind it. It covers half of her and his face. And then it was done and I used E6000 to attach it to my cover. For this size journal, I did not have a suitable book cover. So I stirred it one of the pages. I could have glued two or three of these pages together to make them suitable, but I felt using up one page was enough if I just sturdied it a bit. So I first decoupaged strips of old book pages to both sides of the cardboard. I distressed it with some brown uh, paint. Then I used a stencil and some white gesso. Then I offset the stencil a little bit and filled it in again using my brown uh, rusty paste. And that gave it a bit of texture, which I really liked. So I did the same design to the front and the inside of the back. And so, well, I created my own craft paper in a way. Now back to the outside cover. Here is the same tapestry. Now it came in a very pale beige color. So I used my waxes on them, a blue, a green and a kind of golden bronze. And I like the way it came out. Now it did get stuck on my fingers a bit, but I used a clear spray sealer and that did the trick. So I made myself two new art journals and I'm inspired to start working in them. Now I like 
to work on chipboard, but of course you can make similar journals by using normal art paper, as long as you make a sturdy cover. Now for my covers, I uh, like some texture and something interesting and inspiring to look at, but I don't like to overdo the decoration, so these are fairly simple. Now you might have noticed that I went back to my old camera angle. Uh, well, I got a new tripod and it sits back further but at a slight angle and this might just work. Let's see. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Thank you so much for coming. Come and see me soon again. Stay safe. Bye bye for now.